For our last Wednesday art and craft activity, we're going to make rag dolls. All we're going to need for this project is fabric scraps and a pair of scissors. So you'll need 11 pieces that are cut into strips. And then you'll need two pieces that are cut into rectangles. And we're not going to use any glue or string or anything. We're going to tie the whole thing together with fabric. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to make the head, we'll take two pieces of fabric. So I just put mine together. And you're going to roll it up into a ball. So you can kind of scrunch it and roll it. Just anything you need to do to make it into a head shape. And you'll just keep doing that until you get to the end of your fabric. Uh, something like this, and you can just set it down on the table so that it doesn't unroll. You'll need to take two more pieces of fabric. And carry those down, and you'll put the head right in the middle. And then you can fold it over so that the short ends of the fabric meet. And then you'll just need one strip. And we're going to tie that around right underneath the head of the doll. That'll keep the head inside the fabric. So I put it underneath. And then I'll bring it up around and we just tie one knot here. I'm going to leave these stretched out so I can find them because I'll need these two pieces to tie on other parts of our doll. Okay, so next we're going to make the skirt. We'll make the front of the skirt first and you'll need two pieces of fabric for that. So we're going to take our two pieces of fabric that are put together and we'll lay them over the head so that the head is right in the center. And we'll use these two pieces that we left laying out to tie them on. And just one knot here again. And then you can take the piece that was lying over the head and flop it down in front. And there's the front of our skirt. And to do the back of the skirt, we'll just turn the doll around and we'll keep these pieces laid out so we can find them. We're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. So we'll do two pieces of fabric. And we'll lay it right over the head with the head in the middle. And tie it on. So you'll have a head with a bunch of dangling pieces for the skirt. So I'm going to open that flap back up. And you can kind of tuck the arms in to the skirt. Or sorry, not the arms, the ties that you've been using. You'll just kind of tuck those into the skirt and we're going to make the arms next. So you'll take your last two fabric strips and 
these two short ends, you want them to meet in the middle and you can have them just slightly overlapping. And then you can go ahead and roll them up into kind of a snake-like shape. And you can place that right in the middle where the knot is. And for right now, we're just gonna set it there and we'll fold these back down. We'll wanna leave this really still so that the arms don't fall out while we're making our apron. And the apron is gonna help to hold the arms in so they don't fall down. Set this aside. And to make the apron, we're gonna need our one of our rectangle pieces. So the first thing you'll need to do is cut a strip from the longer side of the rectangle. So just a nice thin strip like this. So I'll have a skinnier rectangle and then a strip of fabric. So we'll go ahead and fold the rectangle in half so that the short sides meet each other. And we'll put the strip of fabric in the middle so that it's inside of the fold down in the crease. So it'll look like this. All right. Bring the doll back. We're gonna wrap this around her waist so the apron will go under, right underneath the arms and that way the arms won't fall down. So we'll put it on like this and then we'll tie it in a double knot on the back of the doll. One, two, and that'll look kind of like that. And you'll see that her arms are gonna stay in place now. And the very last thing we need to do is put a bandana on our doll. So to do that, we'll fold the last rectangle we have in half so that the short sides meet each other. And then we're gonna cut this into a triangle. So to do that, we need to cut on a diagonal from corner to corner. Get rid of these pieces. And now we've got a large triangle. So we're gonna wrap this around her head. And you can tie it in a knot underneath her chin. You'll need to do a double knot here. Okay, now your doll is ready to play with. I hope you all have a good day.